Hi there, and welcome to this video on the dentistry interview, focusing on the topic of NHS price bands. I'm Alice from Dentist Mind, where we go through the important topics of the dentistry interviews. Whichever university you're applying for, MMI or panel, we've got you covered. If you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button. Whilst you're watching, please leave any comments below if you're unsure about anything. We've got helpful timestamps below for each part of the video to help guide you. The following video is a free sample of our full interview course, which you can buy by clicking on the link below in the description. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to lesson three on NHS dentistry. This time we're going to look at price bands and how these relate to dental care provided by the NHS. So the NHS is a healthcare provision which is free at the point of access since this is funded by taxpayers' money. However, it's not totally free for dental services, optical services and for prescriptions. When it comes to dentistry, you pay for the amount of treatment you have in a band system. So it's split into different bands depending on the types of treatment and care that you are given. This means you're contributing a little bit to the equipment and the materials since these are very expensive and therefore it varies depending on the treatment since different equipment and materials are required. So this slide demonstrates what each type of treatment is split down into in the band system. You have emergency dental treatment which includes pain relief and temporary fillings and this costs the same as band one treatment as well. Band one treatment is your checkup so your basic exam and diagnosis as well as certain things such as scale and polish, which are also included in this treatment. Then you've got band two, which is slightly more expensive, and this includes your fillings, root canal work, and also removal of teeth, so if you have to have any extractions. If you do have any band two treatment, it includes all of band one as well. So if you had your checkup and then you also had a tooth extracted, you'd pay band two alone. You wouldn't be paying the price of band two and band one. So once you get to the higher bands, they also include all of the lower band treatment as well. Then you go up to band three, which is significantly more expensive. However, this includes lab work. So it's including the crowns and the bridges and dentures, which take a lot of materials because it also has to be sent away to the lab to be processed. It's not something that's just done in the dental practice. And this is one reason for the increase in price. So there are some aspects of dental treatment which can be provided for free. These include repairing dentures, removing stitches, for example, if you've had a surgical extraction and you have stitches left in your gum, these will be removed for free. Um, if you've got bleeding in your mouth, stopping this is for free. And also if the only thing your dentist needs to do is write your prescription, you wouldn't be paying for this service either. So there are certain exemptions where you wouldn't be required to pay for your dental treatment. If you were under the age of 18 or under the age of 19 and in full-time education, you wouldn't be paying. Also, if you're pregnant or have had a baby in the last 12 months, then your NHS dental treatment is for free. And also if you're staying in an NHS hospital and the treatment is provided by the NHS hospital dentist, again, you wouldn't need to pay for this. Some other situations when you would be exempt is if you're an NHS hospital outpatient and also if you're receiving certain benefits. So if you're an income support, job seekers allowance, income related employment and support allowance, these certain benefits would also exempt you from having to pay for NHS dentistry. Also, if you're named on an NHS tax credit exemption certificate, again, you can get your dental treatment for free. So an example question that you might get asked in an interview would be, could you talk me through what band three treatment would include? And if you want to have a go at this, pause the video now, maybe write down some notes, practice this question as if you've just been asked it by an interviewer. If you want to go back and look at what band three treatment actually is, it's earlier in this video, so just rewind it and have a look at that. But it'd be a really good idea to just pause it and see what you can remember and see what kind of answer you could come up with before going back and checking whether you've included everything you want to. And then maybe modify your answer and see if you can improve it a little bit as well. So that was a quick lesson today, lesson three, and that's now complete. So I hope it's given you a little bit more information about bands of dental treatment and help you to understand a little bit about what the different treatments fall into in the NHS. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe by clicking below and please leave a comment. Click here to continue watching our interview series and to unlock full access to 70 tutorials covering core interview topics, MMI mocks, top tips and more, click on the link in the description below.